Hello everybody, Torgal here and welcome back to episode 2 on the FTOG Advanced 3 server. Now I was doing a lot of thinking, like I would like to get started with something cool, right? But I think we have to take care of some um, basic infrastructure first. I really would like to get back to where I was on Avant 2, um, three episodes in about, and that is we had automated power. Uh, and I also would like to change my storage. So storage, I want to do RF tools. The um, those big modular storage um, components that hold 300 stacks, because later on we can hook those up to our storage network and so on. Um, but I also would like to get a villager today, and for that I'm gonna need a soul vial so I can capture that to set up my emerald farm, right? Like we had it on Avant 2 also, because we're gonna need quite a lot of emeralds. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff to do, and I said I'm just gonna start recording now, and we're gonna do most of this together. Let me just show you real quick. I added a timer right here from RF Tools. You gotta put a block in the back so you can place it against it, so that's putting down. And that automatically pours ingots. So I don't need to stand here and babysit this. And I put a hopper here as input. To, oh, we actually had this one, I think. Um, to the controller. And underneath this casting one here, a hopper pointing into this birch chest. And you guys can see I got tons of stuff already. Um, I did actually not that much mining. I'm going to say an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Um, and I, I spent the whole time down in a cave system lighting it up. I used over 10 stacks of torches. It is bananas. Quark uh, adds huge caves to the game. And yeah, they're huge. <laughs> I'm also cooking up some of this black quartz here from Actually Editions because we are going to do Actually Editions um, in the beginning for our power and so on. It's just, it's so amazing. Uh, you guys know how much I like this mod and it's just, it's just really good. So, but in order to do that, we're going to need to make one kind of power that is via coal before we can get to the oil. Because oil is going to need... Hey, actually... This is iron casings. I thought that the oil generator needed... Uh, what is this other iron called? The en Enrian? This stuff right here. Enori. Uh, but, ooh, we can make this already. So let's check here. What is a canola press? Ah, so we do need this for the canola press. So we need to make an atomic reconstructor and we need to power that. So we are going to need, let's just make one of these. I don't want to make too much. Um, we are going to need, um, like I said, one type of power to power this and we cannot do the oil. So we're going to just do one of these coal generators right there. I'm going to need another casing. And the rest I gonna need oh you guys see i only have six diamonds but tons of the other materials here even copper some gold this is all from um the water strainers over here of course what did i need it two coal and then we're gonna need a little bit of cobble okay here we go so we got one where we can power this and while i'm at it i'm going to make a lever for that and all the new stuff here now i'd like to of course set up inside already um, i think that we're just gonna leave this this crystal thingamajiggy here um the atomic reconstructor and the cold generator on um here for good i don't think i need to change this you don't need it that often and if i keep a stack of coal in here which i did not bring but okay <laughs> i should have thought ahead where are we gonna put this I can put it against that. I mean, if I put it here, I can't put a lot in front of it. Yeah, let's put it here next to the smeltery. At least for now. And I'm going to put this guy right there. And then I could have another machine next to it if I, if I really want to. And of course, this one I need to put on here. You see, redstone mode deactivation. If I had a redstone torch on me, let me show you. It's not bad to have one of those anyway. On all the actual additions, if it shows a redstone mode and you use a redstone torch, that's your wrench. I can toggle between pulse and deactivation. And this one is now turned on, so it's deactivated. You can also put a button on it and just set it to pulse if you want. And achieve the same thing. So let's see here. Again, I'm going to need the oil generator is not doesn't need anything, but for the canola press, this is the iron. 
this is whoops is just a bunch of gold and redstone the redstone here yeah? and let's see here the fermenting barrel also needs that and this is just a wood casing okay let's go ahead and just make us a couple of these for now and while i'm at it i'm gonna also make redstone obviously i cannot do diamonds i mean um lapis and i'm also gonna make coal you know so we we do it once and we have them so let's just get two of these um we're gonna need a lot of these so i'm just gonna make all seven and we're also gonna need eventually a lot of this let's make them all and coal. i don't remember needing that many so i'm just gonna make two yeah that should be all so let's go ahead and oh i gotta bring coal yeah oh, i got 46 that's that's good enough we we'll probably don't need that much today so guys thank you very much for your support on avant 3 so far you guys are 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 slamming it with um with the with the video views with the likes and also the downloads on the mod pack it's it's much appreciated it's really awesome to see that you guys are enjoying this new mod pack um we go like that let's add i think i found out last time that we can go three deep but right now we only need two deep oh i totally forgot guys i made a, a sword um because uh, well there's lots of killing to do down in these caves right and i also made a mattock the mattock is just a wood rod and the uh, iron axe and shovel head and that's all i need now the sword is let me see here it's the iron sword blade a bone tool rod i used to get this fractured uh fractured i forgot what fractured did again and i used a nether rack by um binding and let me just show you guys, and it works out really well. Why I chose those netherrack, it's, oh, that's pig iron, hellish. Deals damage bonus, a bonus damage to non-nether mobs, right? Well, you don't really do a lot of fighting in the nether, but it does more damage to zombie skeletons and so on because they're not nether mobs, right? And the bone one, what did you do? Your tool damage is increased. So... That's what I think it does. This is a pretty good sword here with seven and a half attack damage. Um, it's like two, three hits easily um, kill zombies and so on. So, and on the pick, I added luck and two times redstone. So one times uh, lapis and two times redstone. And this is a really, really sweet uh, little pick we got there, guys. It works well. And all I do is when I go out mining... I upgraded my um, upgraded this bag by the way here to a tier three, um, and I made another one here just for items when I go mining. This was my latest Nether trip, guys. I'm looking for another fortress. Haven't been able to find one, and I even got 49 dimensional shards. How cool is that? Um, because we don't have our tool dimensions, so it's nice to get these in the Nether, so they are available, and we can upgrade our um, machines and so on. But anyway, so I got these two bags, and like I was saying, is I just have a tool station, a little bit of iron on me, so when the pick breaks, I can just repair it on the go. Two iron fixes the whole thing, and you can mine a long time before that runs up. That's all I did between episodes, is upgrade these tools. Flip the lever. Not have enough power yet. Oh, because I have it set to pulse. Ugh. All right, there was my pulse. <laughs> All right, let's check this back to deactivation and the lever is on so it stops. And you guys see it changed all these blocks over to the actual additions version. And now we just need to change this. Uh, also, thank you very much for all your cool comments on that last episode about the Tinker's Tools. I did not know that we can change the parts on the go now. So when I have a sponge, I think I will change... The tool rod on this to sponge so we get silk touch i think that's gonna be really cool oh uh, i can't i have fortune on there never mind i'll need to make another one then uh knucklehead move here all right so we got all these blocks let's go ahead and make our um canola press and the like so we get a little better power and this i'm going to set up against that wall over here because i'm 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 planning on today i probably across two episodes 
Then I want to get rid of all this crop and organize it nicely. Have a tree farm over here just like we had on Avant 2. That is fully automated and everything. I, I want the whole spiel, guys. I was just really good early power that uh, it, it'd be silly not to go for it again. Um, you know, and, and waste my time on sterling generators and that kind of stuff. Um, I, don't, I don't think that's the right thing to do in our case here. So, let's do that. And also these here, yeah. You need the void crystal sometimes. So we got everything we need. Um, and I'm gonna need some wood, which we have plenty. And let's break some of this up. Actually, just 16, there we go. So, we should be able to make everything now here. Fermenting barrel, of course not. I need canola. Uh, <laughs> here we go. So, I need one of you. Now, what actually happens when I leave this in here? I haven't tried this yet. And now I do this. Nice. You don't need to take it out. Oh, I'm liking JEI. Okay. So, now we need to make one of you. And I need some gold. Bada bing, bada bing. You need to make a lot of these in actual addition. So, get used to the recipe. And there is our canola press. Now, I only have one canola press and one fermenting barrel. And I'm just going to, because we're going to have, um, what I found out is four fermenting barrels to one canola press to four generators. That worked like a really good thing. Um, if it's going at full speed, you're still going to um, run out of canola. There's nothing. I don't think there is an absolute perfect way of setting this up. Because if you only have two fermenting barrels, you don't keep up with the um, oil. I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, just the oil. Um, to keep the generators filled, if you have four, um, and if you have four fermenting barrels, then the canola press can run out. So, you know, then you would have to add another canola press. So I'll probably, if you don't want to run out of anything, two to four to four. And you should be set, okay? So maybe we'll set this up. But anyway, so let's come over here and get rid of these guys. I want to make sure I don't waste them. So get my shears. And put them into the Botania chest real quick. I wanted to get started with Botania to get all the good things, you know, for the temple. But I think we're just not ready yet. And there might be another mod in between even, guys. So... Let's see. Let's plan this out real quick. Um, and here. All right. So right in the middle here, I'd like to have... I'm going to put like a pergola or something up here. Okay. So it's, it's protected from the, from the elements. So right here, I want to have my power storage, whatever that is going to be. And then here, we're going to have... One generator, yes. Now let me show you guys. So this is gonna be... No, that can't be, sorry. It can't be here. It needs to be in the corner. So this is gonna be another oil generator, this and that. And then we're gonna have the same here. So these are gonna be eight oil generators, right? And let me just show you with this. This guy right here is going to be our power cell, whatever we're going to use as power storage, okay, where everything from these four comes into via conduits later. And then we have the fermenting barrels right here. So what am I going to use here? Let's use cobble. So these are going to be the fermenting barrels like that. And then of course, in the middle, we're going to have a canola press. So how does it work? Canola press by itself also needs power. I forgot about that, which comes back. It's going to get cycled back here. But I guess for now, I'm just going to ninja this guy because I don't need it. And it keeps his power. If I am remembering this right. Something real quick. Full generator. So let's put this on top for right now. And I just break this one so we can see. Did you not keep the power? Oh. Oh, you know what? It might have still been charging the thing over here. So it didn't have any excess power. Yeah, this wasn't full yet. That's why. Cool. 
and I don't need. I can use this. I think it costs like thirty or fifty thousand per action, and it also goes up a little bit the more um, the more items you have that get lasered. So now this canola right here makes the. I don't even know what it's called. Let's check here real quick. I think it makes the canola oil. And then the canola oil goes into here, and that makes just oil, which goes into the oil generator. And that makes us power at a very decent rate. I believe it was 76 RF a tick, one of these guys. Let's make an actual edition spoke real quick. Um, that is really handy to have. Right here, it's just a canola seed and a piece of paper. I don't think I have any paper yet. No. All right, so... Oh, perfect. Three of them, and let's get a seed. Uh, where is it? There it is. Bam. Let's just double check real quick. The really, really um, good book, guys. Uh, you should definitely learn to use it. I just spent a little bit of time of reading up in the book because there's a couple changes that LPAC made. Um, and I wanted to, you know, get caught up on it. And, well, here it shows the old generator produces 76 RF a tick. So that is a really good power source, especially for, you know, it's just canola seeds or canola, I should say, not the seeds. And then I also found out that the energy laser relay now comes in three tiers. And we're going to use that in a second. And they are in uh, 1,000 RF a tick, 10,000 or 100,000 RF a tick. All right, so we're going to go with the regular energy either raise and relay. Advanced coil. I'm going to need two of these. Do I have enough gold on me? Yes, I do. Do Man, I'm showing a lot of crafting on camera today. I apologize for that. But there we go. We got four of them, and we also need to make the laser wrench right here. Oh, I need another one. Okay. Luckily, I'm getting free gold from my water strainer, so it's all good. Why are the torches? What? What? What's happening? Why did the torches go up there? That makes no sense. All right, good. But we got the laser wrench. We got these things. And you know what, guys? I'm going to craft the rest of this off camera here real quick because it's it's just simple. It's I'm going to make the sag mill and the alloy smelter. And then I wanted to check if we can afford making a power cell. No, we need emeralds for that. So we cannot make that yet. That was actually the reason. Um, so I'm not going to have any power storage right now, but that is fine. And let me craft this up real quick. I apologize, guys. I forgot to turn off my air conditioning on the last segment. It was only three and a half minutes, but I need to re-record it right now because it was just uh, a buzzing in the background the entire time. Um, what we did is I, I had the alloy smelter and the sagmal crafted, and we crafted four of these energy relay, uh, laser relays. They are they come in pairs, so we made two sets of these. The other one is in the box over there because I don't actually no, it's in my bag. But we don't need that right now. We only need three. And so we're going to put one of them right there. And then we're going to shift right click this uh, laser relay right there. And it says laser stored. Now this will automatically, when you set it next to any kind of power um, inventory, uh, like this, a generator or a capacitor bank or anything, it's already connected, okay? And it's a network, guys. It doesn't go one way or anything. All the item razor, uh, all the energy laser relays that are connected now give power to each other okay um and then the second one i'm gonna put about halfway because they only go 15 blocks so i'm gonna put that right there and then just right click it and now you guys see it's connected and you see this particle effect right here so now we got power coming from there to here and let's shift right click this one more time and we're gonna set up the sag mill right there and the alloy smelter right here and you guys can see they were already powered because they're full. And we're going to put this laser relay in the middle and right click it. So now that's connected. And these both are getting power from that. Okay. You just need, it doesn't matter which way you turn this. As long as the side is touching it now, they're powered. And then um, I made some solarium and also fused quartz. Okay. It's just soul sand. I went to the nether real quick, got some soul sand um, with gold. 
one to one makes you one solarium and then we made some fused quartz to make this right here the soul vials and then i went just now i came back to over here there's a village and i grabbed four villagers because that was my goal for today i wanted to set up villagers upstairs and yeah we'll do that in just a second and then actually you know start collecting emeralds because i think it is botania i think it's botania is it botania or cork i can never remember i know cork adds the feather shedding and so on i think it's botania that adds villagers just dropping random uh, emeralds right and for that i'm using the only ender pearl i have to make an item collector hopper three obsidian and there it is and now let's go and set up our little emerald farm before we do the rest of um, our storage for today. Uh, the other thing also I wanted to test here. There used to be a config setting that I couldn't find when I was making the mod pack. And then uh, LPAC uh, reminded me to read the change notes at uh, a change log um, to see that now you can actually toggle it in game. And I really like that option really, really nicely. With the laser wrench in hand, shift, right click. Mode change to never show particles. You will never see them now. Shift right click again. Show particles when holding a laser wrench. So when we take it off, we don't see it. I like this option. I want to I wanna be able to see them, right? So I know things are connected and so on. So that is how we use this now. And upstairs, we're going to put these villagers. Let's go up here. I figured right over here, there's a nice little nook. Uh, upstairs there's not really any nooks or something this kind of is perfect and they can look outside the window and stuff right um, but before we do that i put a basic drawer right here and we're gonna put this item collector right here and now i actually wanted to test if they shed it all the way over here it does not pick it up what about here it picks it up so only if they are over here items will not get picked up i wonder how often that is gonna happen um let me check here real quick item collector what does it take to upgrade it well there is no reason not to upgrade this i don't know why i didn't just do that <laughs> that, that makes no sense i i should totally make the the advanced uh, item collector all right i crafted it up and now we can put it over here and now we can change the radius. Now, Y5, that is huge. Let's go down to three. X5, C5, what is that here? One, two, three, four, five. So now that should work if I throw something in this block space. Yes, it did, cool. Now let me just double check, not, because the thing is when I'm downstairs and I'm working or something, I don't want stuff, it still gets picked up. All right, so I can make this, yeah, I can make this one smaller right here. Let's go to, up oh, smaller the other way. Let's go to four and four. Okay, not there. All right, it still does it over here. Cool, so that works. Now we can put our villagers in there. And I don't need to lock this, I just need to close this hole here first. So they don't come running out because you know how they are. They're like, oh, there's a hole. Let's get out. <laughs> All right. So I got three librarians. Um, hmm. I can't get in there to show you anymore. Bummer. Um, how am I going to do this? I guess I can break through here real quick. And that's probably went up into the item collector. Right, right, right. Yes, sorry, give me that. So let's put them in here so we can take a look at them. Hope it works. All right, this guy right here is the Fletcher. I wanted to have one brown coat, so if we want to make a villager farm to make us new villagers, we have it. I think there is a farmer, a Fletcher, a shepherd. I think there's four or five different ones, right? And this is not a bad trade. 15 string for one emerald. Um, and then we might unlock this and see what's happening, right? All right, so, and then the other ones are, you know what? I'm going to put them here. We look at them, and then I'll put them inside. 30 paper for an emerald, but 
protection one but i want to unlock these right it's it's a lot of emeralds but hopefully i'm gonna get enough soon because i want to see what the other books are that these guys are getting because a mending book would be quite awesome right and this guy has unusing one only nine emeralds so that's not too expensive and this one here is pretty cool guys this one has soul stealer four yeah it costs 29 emeralds but it's definitely nice to get i th think there's a soul stealer five possibly but four is already really nifty to get for free all right i'm gonna just put them in there now and then they should start hopefully making us emeralds um dumb don't take any damage good in here and the last one cool and they should be really safe here nothing should get to them and now we're gonna do the last thing for today or this episode i'm gonna probably record two or three episodes today i decided i want to do only avant today for like 10 hours <laughs> so the next episode should come shortly after this one like the next day or something i want to make storage Here's something I find very interesting, that these are now counting themselves as inventory, so you can have them chained together, right? Kind of weird. I don't know how that's going to affect um, the future here. Like, if I shift-click, I'm kind of afraid it will take materials from there, and so on. But anyway, so we're going to make the RF Tools storage. Um, it doesn't require any power. It five machine frames. And it has a tremendous amount of storage, okay? We're going to have 1,500 stacks we can store when we're done. <laughs> That's a lot of storage. Um, actually, you stay here. You get out of here. Let me put this away here for a second. I'm going to keep these on me. If I find anything else cool, we can pick it up. And you cannot nest these, by the way, which I think is a good thing. All right, so we got these. And now we're going to make five of these storage modules tier one. Oh, by the way, let me show you guys. I have one uh ingot and one uh, three nuggets left i smelted all the other gold and i just switched over well actually they're gone already i use the next ones water i used the fine ones here at this time you see, see that has 10 percent chance to get gold nugget while this one only has a three percent and wow this time i got 21 nuggets 16 nuggets and the rest here by the way i didn't empty i left it so that's not what you get here 25 nuggets and 17 so that is a lot more gold which is really nice but yeah i'm i'm low on gold i gotta go mining so we're gonna make five of these they don't stack of course because well they can hold 100 stacks right there um you see that this module supports 100 stacks and now we upgrade it to the tier two which holds 200 stacks and then we're gonna go last but not least which broke the bank <laughs> and gold blocks tier three Rest of the stuff, I have so much quartz, it's bananas. Uh, with the fortune pick, I went to the nether looking for the fortress, which I haven't found yet. Um, and there it is. And now the cool thing is, I don't need to set this up where I want it, okay? I can set these up, let's say, right there. And slap those in there. And actually, I should... Oh, what's happening here? Ah, uh, this is new. I have not seen this... Wait, you can have recipes in here now? We're going to have to try that real quick. That is really cool. But I want to change these always to that. So it just, you know, when I put something in here, it just shows me the item. The other ones here shows you the, the name next to it. And then this one shows you two columns instead of just one list. But I just... Hello? There we go. I just want to see the item. Just like if I open a chest, I know what the stuff is. Or most of the times. Let's change this over. Put the last one and this one. So that's cool. And now I can empty all this, put it all into here, and then move it over into the house where I want to have it. Why you no show me bar? There we go. And I got 1,500 stacks of stuff I can put in here. I'm still going to leave this stuff outside and so on. And when we then actually set up our real storage um, with a storage network and so on, I just got to make a controller. And, you know, it's, it's super easy. Now... What I'm going to do between episodes, of course, is, you know, go, just go through here and, for example, take all this out. And this first one here is probably going to become wood and whatever else I feel like putting into this one. And I'm going to empty everything out. And like I said, I can just break this and it keeps the inventory. 
okay? Or I can also take out the card and put it somewhere else because it keeps the inventory. It's all stored on this card, okay? So I'm going to clean all this up and move it inside. And then I'm going to do a little bit of landscaping out here and plan out how I want to automate the canola plus wood. I want this to be fully 100% automated, okay? Um... And I'm also going to make all the other oil generators, actually does these, the oil generators and also all the fermenters and the squeezer here. And that's, that's about it. And then I'm going to start recording how we set all this up. It's going to be really cool, just like in Avant 2. And then we have fully automatic power next episode. And then we can move on to new and unexplored mods. <laughs> I have a... Um, Botania is probably going to be off the list for a little while, guys. Because there's another mod that I want to look at, and that is Psy. Um, Psy is... Psy can be very overpowered. I'm not going to lie about it. But Psy also has a ton... A ton... I'm going to leave one here. Um, a ton of useful things that we can make, you know. Um, we can make it to use it like a builder's wand. Um, I have a lot of ideas that are going to help us in the ocean monument when we excavate it and build it and so on, right? I really want to make a lot of use of Psy in this series. So I figured we're going to get started, um, not next time, but then the episode after with Psy. So hopefully you guys are excited about that. And that is it for today, guys. We got basic power set up. We got a few machines. I got, you know, basic ore processing. Oh, uh, well, I'll, I'll might make those here just to add them. I do want to make the double crusher and the double furnace, the one from Actually Editions. Very simple to craft, and I'm probably going to add them over there, but we'll see. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Check this out, guys. Uh, hopefully, I pressed the right one. Take care, stay safe, and... No, no, where's the button? Yay! <laughs> we got emotes in this. But where's my bye bye? There it is. No, that's head banging. We don't want that. Where's my wave? Come on, man. Let's do it again. Take care, stay safe, and bye bye. I love it.